Vikings Giants ranking 551. We're going to talk about someone that I'm really not happy about with them talking about him. And that's my guy, Jim Horrible. Um, so I'm really not I'm really not happy with the stat because why do people keep bringing it up? It's a stupid stat. Okay. Yes, he's two and five against Ohio State. Whoopity fucking doa. Okay. Yeah. All right. It took time to build that. I discussed how we're trying to fit find guys that fit our scheme and stuff, and it took time to build that. But the stat that I am talking about is people are saying Jim Harbaugh is one in six in bowl games. The only team that he's ever beaten was Florida, and then he lost six straight. Here's the problem with that. Jim Harbaugh is not one in six in bowl games. He's 0 and 2. Okay. He is not one in six because who the flying fuck cares what your record is if it's not towards a college semifinal or national championship game. Okay. If you are not in that playoff environment, then why does it matter that you won the Rose Bowl, even though, yes, that used to be the national championship all those years ago for when Michigan won it in 1997, 20, 27 years now, I think, ago, or 25, whatever. The point is, is that, or 1998, whatever it is, 1997, 1998. Point is, is that it's not, it's not, plausible or um good to put your coach saying that he's one in six when he's not he's not one in six imagine having nick saban and then saying okay uh he's he's five and eleven or something or you know you know he won as many times as he's been there and stuff and he lost um the first year and then the second year they won and the 2016 they won and then you know they won they won you know all over the place and then they lost they lost they lost the thing is it's just like okay well he's won seven you know he's won seven national championships what's his bowl record who the fuck cares what his bowl record is if you're not winning um in the semi-final game or losing in the semi-final game if you're losing in the semi-final game that should would be important towards your record. You're 0 and 2 because he lost to Georgia because they reached their mountaintop. They didn't fucking care that year, okay? They were just like, let let's have some fun out here with our guys, enjoy the sun and stuff. Because you know what? At the end of the day, they were just like, we reached our mountaintop. We beat Ohio State. We won our Big Ten championship the first year. The second year, they actually strived to win a national championship and stuff. And they just shot themselves in the foot. And then there were some controversial calls in that TCU-Michigan game. But coming into this year, again, Michigan is striving to go for a national championship. So if Jim Harbaugh were to lose another um, semifinal game, which, knock on wood, I hope he doesn't, and we get to a national championship, and with our 1,000 win season this year potentially happening um, by winning seven more games, uh, you know, I think we have to win. Well, actually, six more games, but we have to go 11 and 0. So there's seven more games to actually win for that to be um, possible. But I think it's, I think we're at 994 right now and or something, but I'm not really too sure. I'm, something like that. The point is, is that. Jim Harbaugh is not one in six. He is 0-2. I'm sick and tired of you people saying that he's one in six. Who the flying F cares? Okay. Who cares? That's like saying, oh, okay. Um, let me just give you something. Bill Belichick is 10 and 6 in the Pro Bowl. Who the flying fuck cares? The Pro Bowl doesn't even matter. It's dog shit. That's like this is why these bowl games don't matter anymore. Yeah, you got the trophy and stuff. You can put it on your case in your trophy case. But at the same time, did you win the national championship? Did you win the semifinal bowl game, which which mattered more? Did you win the natty? Did you get your team there? Did you win? Did you prove you were the best team in the country that year? No, then you don't deserve any credit. You don't deserve to be considered a coach of that um, season. You don't deserve to be considered in that record as a failure because the fact is, is that your team sucks. 
You didn't make it to the college football playoff. You're already a failure in everybody's eyes. Why the fuck does your record even matter when you're one in six? Those games are pointless, okay? Those games are fucking pointless. He's 0-2 in the freaking college football playoff environment bowl games, semifinal games. At the end of the day, I don't think it fucking matters if you win or not. I'm sick and tired of this crap where you're constantly um, saying, oh my God, Jim Harbaugh is one in six. He can never win a um, bowl game. How about, how about for the teams that keep complaining and dishing us out, Big Ten teams or um, non-Big Ten teams that are fans of the Pac-12? How about you actually win a freaking semifinal national championship first before you start criticizing our coach of stuff and not winning a bowl game? Why don't you go out there? Oh, wait, you already did. You lost to Ohio State in 2015, Oregon, and you got shredded. They beat you in the national championship or for the national championship. They kicked your butt in that game, okay? Let me tell you, why don't you actually try doing that as a team of fans? I'm sick and tired. Why don't you worry about your coach and see how he is playing? Because I'm sick and tired of people saying Jim Horrible is one in six in bowl games. He's not. He's 0 and 2. That is my thoughts on this. I'm tired of doing this song and dance with it. So until next time, guys, don't forget to stay radical. I'll see you in the next one. Let me know your thoughts. But go blue. I'm sick and tired of this. Let me know what you think.